Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. 10 January, NFP Friday. Here we are. Uh, last year, these tended to be some of the most boring days of the year. Um, I'm not going to get my hopes up today. Nothing really going on in Europe this morning. Uh, Aussie data beat last night, so let's take a look at that Aussie chart. This 50 level seems to be holding. A lot of people talking about it. Um, fourth time it held. Up here at 80. Uh, we're not super on board with buying Aussie dollar. Basically, still worried about the damage of these fires. I know everyone's talking about reconstruction and how this could be good for the flow of Aussie. Um, still not super clear to me um, how reconstruction of forests and topsoil um, seems slightly different than sort of the reconstruction um, after a tsunami on a coastal village. But anyway, Aussie beat, Aussie's a little bit higher not really much to talk about here 30 point range uh, if you bought Aussie at 50 last night God bless you that was good we're just sitting here waiting watching uh, getting ready for non farms nothing out in Europe today uh, we got some Norwegian stuff inflation data out of Norway which is actually mildly interesting if you trade Naki um, and we wait for Canadian data and the US data. Interesting points on the chart. Obviously, this is an interesting point. 109.70 in dollar yen. Uh, last May was the last time um, we were we were above this. So let's call it eight months ago. We've been sitting below this. This is actually also the 200 day. Just have to trust me on this. Uh, I don't have it on this chart, uh, but the 200-day also comes in around 68, so this will be very interesting today if we get a hot number uh, and we can close above 109.70. Uh, this looks like it can run a bit. Euro Yen also doing a bit of a runner. After that craziness on Wednesday, good solid bullish day. I mean, a 30-point bullish day from 40 to 70 um, yesterday, but solid, closed at the highs. Uh, the big point up here is 122.50 and 122.67. Um, you could do a lot with this, but let's look at the weeklies as well. be a stretch for us to get up to 122.50 today. Weeklies and dollar yen look much more convincing. We're already at a bullish engulfer. Um, but of course we have this uh, one binary moment today at 2.30 Swiss time. Uh, expectations are for about 170. I think um, below 100 would be negative. I would say above uh, 260 would be positive. You want to look at average hourly earnings closely. Um, and you want to just keep an eye on this 109.70 level in uh, in dollar yen. Euro not doing much, basically right in the middle of nowhere. You could draw a couple of lines here, which don't really mean too much. It's a little support line here, and this is this new new pennant that we got going here. Not really too much to do with Euro. We have no interest in the pair right now. Um, mainly just focusing on the yen side, Euro yen, uh, dollar yen. Take a look at Swiss yen. They had a massive bullish day. Uh, that's the weekly. Let's go to the dailies. Um, very, very big bullish uh, maneuver here on Swiss yen. Quite unusual. Um, on just a nothing day to have this kind of move in Swiss yen, but you can see we're breaking out of these range highs. Uh, will we see further strength? I don't know. 
struck me as very odd yesterday. I guess a lot of CTAs, momentum guys, uh, were buying above 56. Low last night of 47. Um, may have taken out a couple of short-term systems, but for the majority of uh, the momentum guys, they'll still be long this uh, Swiss yen. Aussie ends right in the middle of nowhere because Aussies come off so hard, so nothing to do there. Dollars are we we talked about below thirteen uh, fifty yesterday. We took a little took a little trip down to around eleven twenty, but now we're just consolidating. Really, nothing to do there. Um, and dollar CAD, uh, we had Polit last night. Um, Had some movement with crude moving and just general movement in dollar cad all the way up to um, 130.104. Now we're back down 130.60. I, I have no idea what to do with this. Uh, no idea. We got cad numbers out today. Obviously, cad employment. Um, consensus is 25,000 jobs added. If you'll remember uh, the last time we had these numbers out, there was a massive, massive miss, minus 72. Let's see if that is revised to something more sensible. Uh, one thing I can say about the Canadian numbers is, uh, number one, they're leaked, so it's hard to trade. And number two, uh, ironically, for numbers that are leaked, they're very unreliable. So they're basically just reliable on the 20 minutes afterwards. Otherwise, I don't know what's going on with the counting skills um, in, uh, in Ontario, but uh, pretty useless in general, the CAD figures. Let's go to gold. Um, this looks particularly bearish. Uh, the whole world has caught long gold above this 1570 area. They all bought calls, which are going to be worthless. Um, the 1600 calls. Our guys in the States got short this stuff uh, on Wednesday above 1600. Um, tidy little position. They're going to sit short. Uh, is this going to finally get all the way down to 1444? I do not rule this out. Um, market is just criminally long gold through derivatives and spot positions. Equities are an all-time high. There's no war with Iran. That was the whole thing was like staged. Um, Yes, stocks are overvalued. Yes, stocks will collapse like a towering babel of burning inferno building, uh, but not today, uh, and maybe not anytime soon, right? Um, we could this could take months. So why do you own gold here at 1550? You have to ask yourself that question. We don't. We don't have a uh, dog in that fight, uh, but obviously a strong number today in gold uh, gets further hammered. This is also correlated very directly with dollar yen. So if you if you don't like trading gold, it's the same thing as being long dollar yen. Those of you who sold gold uh, above 1600 are the same characters who are buying dollar yen on the 107 handle. So it's the same trade. Anyway. I don't even know why I'm talking anymore. Um, we've got uh, seven seven hours until this number, so get yourself a book, get some fitness. Keep a quiet eye on 109.70. They may ding this thing um, before the number just to make it awkward for people. Um, but otherwise, get your mind right and get ready for um, a very intensive couple hours trading this afternoon. Uh, and... With that, I will wish you luck and a good weekend. Talk to you on Monday. Ciao.